You're listening to Radio Maria, a Christian voice in your home. We now present Fatima and the First Saturdays. And here's your host, Dr. Katrina Layden. Thank you. Let us begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh, Jesus, this is for love of you, for the conversion of sinners, for the Holy Father, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, God wishes to establish devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in the world. To do this, Our Lady gave us two special requests. The first special request was for a collegial consecration by the Pope and the bishops. The second special request is for the first Saturdays of the two requests. The first Saturdays is what we are responsible for doing. So let us do our part. But if we wish to establish devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, it's not enough for the first Saturdays to be done privately only. As Our Lady said, it must be established in the world to establish something. It must be visible in public. The first Saturdays must be established in parishes and not in any public form, but in a way that is approved by the church. Otherwise, if not public and communal, there is no way to know the faithful are fulfilling the practice of Our Lady's request for world peace. Our Lady would not be given credit for the triumph. This would be an injustice against her heart, an obstacle to peace. What we call the communal first Saturdays is not only public, but approved by the church to gather with the use of the communal first Saturdays devotional book. I do want to announce That in 2025, we will celebrate the 100th year anniversary of when our Lord and Our Lady asked for the spread of the first Saturday's devotion on December 10th, 1925. The mission of our apostolate, the communal first Saturday's apostolate, is to spread this devotion in the best possible way, as we will explain more in great detail. Our apostolate helps equip people and parishes with everything they need to spread the first Saturdays. Last week, we introduced a new series called Answering Jesus' Question. We reminded us of Jesus' question to us through the person of Lucia. In regards to the first Saturday's devotion, on February 15, 1926, Jesus asked Lucia, Have you spread throughout the world that which the Heavenly Mother requested? Again, Jesus asked us through the person Lucia, quote, have you spread throughout the world that which the Heavenly Mother requested, end of quote. And Jesus was referring to the first Saturday's devotion. We asserted that before we can answer Jesus' question, we need to know some essential information about the first Saturday's. We pointed out that even those who may be familiar with the first Saturdays may not consider some of the essential points they need to know. We went on to summarize the first Saturdays with essential points. Again, there's four practices with one intention 
of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We clearly stated the two promises associated with the devotion. We then summarized key points about reparation and why we make reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We then showed how the first Saturdays is a continuous practice and not limited to a certain number. For those who fulfill five in a row, one is promised personal salvation. However, Our Lady's promise at Fatima on July 13, 1917, for a period of peace and the salvation of many souls requires the continuous practice of the first Saturdays. Isn't it obvious to all of us that we need this period of peace now? Some describe this time in history as the worst ever. Many of us are anxious or unsettled or just not at peace for many reasons. Many because of the uh, war going on, the conflicts and and look at what's going on in Ukraine and and Gaza. And people are very concerned about that. And rightfully so. However, also many of us are not at peace or worried about our loved ones our friends, those who have fallen away from the church, gone astray. A lot of us are worried about all of these things and much, much more. I tell you, working in this apostolate, though, working for our ladies, uh, working to bring about period of peace and the salvation of souls by the means which our lady gave us, to bring them about is just amazing and brings me and others at great peace. So when we look at all of this happening, even our loved ones suffering or falling away, we know we're working on the solution. And the solution is the first Saturdays. And as we've mentioned before, I mean, most importantly, as our Lord and our lady have mentioned, asked for the first Saturdays, asked for the spread of it. Um, for the period of peace and the salvation of many souls. And what we've been saying for many times over this whole uh, program, we need to spread the first Saturdays to bring about Our Lady's promise of that period of peace and the salvation of many souls. So we need to remember that the first Saturdays is a continuous practice. And in fact, we'll need to be continuing to do the first Saturdays so we can maintain the period of peace. So it's very, 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 very important. So hopefully all of you listening will uh, be able to understand more and more and want to practice and spread the first Saturdays. And we have to keep in mind, Our Lady gave us this solution Almost 100 years ago, she told us about it way over 100 years ago in 2017, and then she came to ask for it with her son on December 10th, 1925. So we're almost at that 100-year mark. So we've had 100 years of the solution, and we really could have helped prevent many persecutions of the church, many wars, many conflicts, many things that are going on now. So I really hope and pray that all of us will, will understand and want to participate in bringing about Our Lady's uh, triumph and to listen to the solution that she uh, gave us um, so long ago. Last week, we also presented some ways of practicing the first Saturdays and related issues. We highlighted the fact that many advertised, quote, first Saturdays devotions, end of quote, do not offer the required practices. And as a result, many are not actually fulfilling the first Saturday's devotion. Today, we will discuss an excellent solution. Just to review, there are different ways of practicing the first Saturdays. We can practice the first Saturdays individually and communally. So again, just a quick review of the individual practice of the first Saturdays. If one practices the first Saturdays individually, 
one needs to go to Mass and receive Holy Communion on the first Saturday of the month. One can fulfill the other practices at any time in the day individually. Confession can also be done on another day as long as there is one confession for each month and one receives Holy Communion in the state of grace. One needs to do each practice in reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. One can choose to use and follow the order of devotion in the communal first Saturday's devotional book. In fact, we highly recommend that. By using this book, one can be better disposed to receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Also, the book ensures that the first Saturdays is done properly, as Our Lady asked. There's evidence that in the past, most of the faithful have not practiced the first Saturday's devotion properly. In this case, the first Saturday's devotion has not been fulfilled by them. In fact, last week we gave the example of the man that thought he was doing the first Saturday's devotion for 50 years and did not, had no idea about the meditation. So for 50 years, he thought he was doing it. And um, again, although what... What he was doing was awesome and sure, I'm sure, pleasing to our Lord and our Lady for his efforts, but he wasn't fulfilling the first Saturday's devotion. So that is um, definitely a risk with uh, doing the first Saturdays individually without good material, such as what we're mentioning, the communal first Saturday's devotional, because the communal first Saturday's devotional, by following it, one um, can do everything properly. Also, if the first Saturday's devotion is done only individually, there's no way to know uh, that it's being fulfilled. So as we mentioned in the beginning of this program, in in that case, Our Lady would not be given the just credit she deserves for helping bring about the period of peace. And that, of course, would be an injustice. And that injustice alone would prevent us from reaching that period of peace. So it's very important that um, it be visible, as we're going to talk about later. So although some of us have to make it the first Saturdays individually, we don't have a choice. We could be working, traveling for whatever reason. We, you know, so definitely we encourage everyone to make the first Saturdays. And if they have to individually, of course, and if they're able to, we encourage everyone to try to participate in a communal practice and um, especially as we'll be talking about more the communal first Saturdays. So um, so now having said that, that the individual practice is not enough, um, we want to review the communal practice of the first Saturdays. And again, just quickly, it's communal practice. It means joining together with others uh, to do the first Saturdays in either a small group, family, um, and as we mentioned, have mentioned a number of times, communal prayer can have a greater power to obtain an answer from God. And that's really important. Um, even Jesus said, quote, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them, end of quote. And St. John the 23rd said that communal prayer is the, quote, most efficacious kind of prayer for gaining the divine protection, end of quote. So um, one can participate in a communal practice either privately or publicly. And um, we'll talk briefly review again the private communal practice. Um, That that is usually the small group or family um, that agreed to make the first Saturdays together. And that can be done in a church before or after Mass. And if it's done in the church, of course, we always say it needs to be done silently um, because it's not approved for, you know, in that church for public uh, practice at that point. It's private. So everyone should definitely respect that and, you know, do it silently. Um, The small group or family can arrange a common day for confession um, if possible. If not, people could go on different days. Um, However, they would attend mass together and receive Holy Communion in the state of grace. And we still encourage even these private communal groups to uh, really definitely use our communal first Saturday's devotional book because it helps them to uh, also uh, fulfill the communal first Saturday's uh, properly. 
and in a way approved uh, by the church. And the reasons for using this book will uh, definitely become more evident as we go on in the series um, and we and we treat the public form of the first Saturdays. So that brings us now to review um, the public communal practice. So again, that's uh, people getting together in a church or other authorized location in a parish um, or other authorized location, getting together to publicly practice the first Saturdays. And of course, this would need approval from the pastor or parish priest. Um, in other, in United States, pastor is the priest in charge. In other countries, it's usually uh, the priest is usually called a parish priest. So um, whoever the priest is in charge would need to authorize that for that particular parish. Um, and again, we have to remember several things. As Sister Lucia said, that public and collective prayer brings about peace. So that's really important. Um, and also that's in a, a, the book called A Pathway Under the Gaze of Mary, um, if you want the direct quote. Also, history is full of examples of how public Marian and Eucharistic prayer have had a tremendous outcome on events. So very important to remember about communal prayer. And then, um, as we mentioned in our uh, last episode, um, there are different ways of having these public ways of practicing the First Saturday's devotion. Um, but besides the communal First Saturdays, of the communal first Saturdays apostolate, there are other communal forms. And as we mentioned last week, um, so many of these other communal forms are done in different ways. Uh, most of the time, they're not complete. So they're missing usually something. So for example, there may be um, what is advertised as a first Saturday's devotion in a parish, and it may consist of just the mass, or it might just consist of just the mass and the rosary, or the rosary and confession, or sometimes you'll see a first Saturday's devotion advertised in a parish and it's simply a holy hour. And as we know that that doesn't, although that's great, it doesn't, holy hour is wonderful when we can adore our Lord, of course, but it doesn't meet what our lady, uh, the requirements of the first Saturday's devotion given by our lady. So um, we need to realize that. And then sometimes even, uh, you know, some parishes will advertise a thousand Hail Mary devotion and, and call that the first Saturday's devotion. Well, that's not the first Saturday's devotion that Our Lady of Fatima gave us. Um, so we we just we need to that's why we need to be armed with this all this good information so that we can help others understand and uh, realize what they need to do to fulfill the first Saturdays as Our Lady asked. Um, you know, some, uh, mo you know, a lot of this is because people just don't understand, uh, people in parishes, they don't understand really what's, um, what our lady asked for on the first Saturdays. Uh, so it's, you know, it takes all of us that, that have learned and, and know better to help, um, uh, help them realize what they need to do, uh, for the first Saturdays. And that's what our apostolate really, um, helps uh, parishes and people know, um, do is be able to understand, and um, practice the first Saturdays uh, correctly. Also, even if the these celebrations uh, of the first Saturdays do have each of the practices with with intention of making reparation to the Mac Heart of Mary, they're often not in a, a way that disposes people um, to the Eucharist most fruitfully. So the order um, so. And as you, you'll understand more as we go on uh, why uh, the order of the first Saturdays is so important. So um, that's something to note. Also, there may be no visible sign of confession. So some don't even know confession is, you know, one of the practices of the first Saturdays. Another thing that we see is uh, many of these devotion, um, what are called for Saturdays devotions. Uh, usually, again, they don't have all the requirements, but Often they will end immediately after Mass, and the people are not given the opportunity to spend the most important time with Jesus after Mass. And we, we should all recall that Jesus is truly present within us for a period of time after we receive him in the Holy Eucharist. So that's a very important time that we need to treasure. 
Um, of the parishes that do stay open after Mass, they may have um, Eucharistic exposition immediately after Mass, which can draw attention away from the attention to Jesus who is within us in his body, blood, soul, and divinity for a period of time after we've received him. And the most important presence of Jesus for us is when he is with, within us. As Jesus said in the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 53, quote, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you, end of quote. So uh, we recommend that, you know, if, and as we're going to mention later, if the Eucharist, Eucharistic exposition um, does take place, which um, we would recommend that take place after um, the, for, after the period of time when Jesus is still present within us. And um, we're going to point out later on um, why that's even more, why that's more powerful um, as we speak about the communal first Saturdays. So that will even make even more sense. So the communal first Saturdays, uh, and when we we mentioned the communal first Saturdays, we're always referring to the communal first Saturdays of the communal first Saturday's apostolate. Uh, so the, this communal first Saturday solves all of the problems we've mentioned and does even more. So we will now uh, discuss this standardized canonically and liturgically approach um, that's been approved. So, um, and again, the communal first Saturday solves all of the problems we've mentioned and does even more, as you're going to see. So we're going to, uh, dis again, discuss this is a standardized and canonically and liturgically approved uh, for Saturday's um, devotion that accompanies the liturgy. So it's um, and it uses the communal for Saturday's devotional book. So. In order to really understand the communal for Saturdays, we need to understand what it is. Why we should start it. What book is used in how it is ordered. And so we're going to go um, through all of this. So what is the communal first Saturdays of the communal first Saturdays apostolate? The communal first Saturdays is a monthly public and scheduled parish service. The communal first Saturdays is for all Catholics, all Catholics. And in the communal first Saturdays, the faithful join together to fulfill Our Lady's request for the first Saturday's devotion. The communal first Saturdays includes all of the four practices of the first Saturdays, each in reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. In this way, the faithful are able to completely fulfill Our Lady's request with others. So it makes it very easy. The practices are arranged in an order which makes them more effective in obtaining grace and making reparation. This order is centered on Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. How well disposed we are in receiving the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist determines the greatness of the flow of grace into our souls. So I want to, I want to repeat that because that's really important. Very, very important. And so, again, how well disposed we are in receiving the body, blood, soul and divinity of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist determines the greatness of the flow of grace into our souls. Very important. The communal first Saturdays also includes other elements of the Fatima message. And these are added in order to help the faithful be more disposed in the practice of the first Saturdays. For example, the Fatima prayers are included along with acts of consecration and reparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Further, Our Lady highlighted St. Joseph's important role 
in obtaining the triumph of her Immaculate Heart during the miracle of the sun on October 13th, 1917. So a special prayer to St. Joseph is included. The communal first Saturdays has its own signature rosary that combines the devotion of the rosary with the devotion of the Immaculate Heart of Mary to reflect what Our Lady made known she desired at Fatima. The communal first Saturdays also has a signature meditation with the use of scripture and in the form of Lexio Divina. There is a different meditation each month that harmonizes with the liturgical cycle. The communal first Saturdays is in, is in most, if not all places in the world, the only known complete public first Saturdays with canonical and liturgical church approval. It is inseparable from the communal first Saturdays devotional book. For those of you who may have just recently joined, this is Dr. Katrina Layden, and you are listening to Fatima in the First Saturdays on Radio Maria, a Christian voice in your home. Today, we are discussing answering Jesus's question, the question he gave to all of us through the person of Lucia on February 15th, 1926, when he asked, referring to the First Saturday's devotion, he asked, have, quote, have you spread throughout the world that which the Heavenly Mother requested? End of quote. So we're talking, we're discussing how we can answer Jesus's question in the best possible way. If you miss this, you can listen to the recorded podcast that will be available soon after the program today. Please remember that Radio Maria is 100% listener supported. We depend on the generosity of our listeners. There are many ways you can help. You can make a donation on the phone at 1-888-408-0201. Again, that is 1-888-408-0201. You can also go to www.radiomaria.us and click on Ways to Donate up at the top. Again, that is radiomaria.us. Your donation will be a great gift. I want to remind all of you that we have a First Saturdays map. And with this map, you'll be able to see different locations for the First Saturdays and primarily for the communal First Saturdays. This will help you if you're traveling, moving to another city, or just want to start practicing this devotion. This map will surely help you out. You can also add a First Saturdays devotion in your area to help others find yours. Please go to www.communal firstsaturdays.org forward slash map. Also on our website, we give away important pamphlets. All of them are related to the first Saturdays. When you go to the main website, www.communalfirstsaturdays.org, be sure to click on the media tab and then the free pamphlet download link. We will now discuss why we should start the communal first Saturdays. So why start the communal first Saturdays of the communal first Saturdays apostolate? Starting the communal first Saturdays is not to be confused with making the first Saturdays or the communal first Saturdays. For more information on, on this, you can see the, our pamphlets called Why Make the First Saturdays 22 Reasons and Why the Communal First Saturdays 29 Reasons. The reasons for making the first Saturdays contribute to our understanding as to why we should start the communal first Saturdays. Both of the pamphlets I mentioned are on our website, uh, communalfirstsaturdays.org. And under the, you can, when you get to that, that page, you can click on the media tab and you can uh, find and download those uh, free pamphlets. The communal first Saturdays exists to make it easier for a larger number of people to do the first Saturdays correctly and in a way 
that is canonically and liturgically approved. The communal first Saturdays fulfills God's wish to establish devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in the world. What does it mean to establish devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in the world? The concept of establish refers to something that is visible, public, and permanent. Also, something established must have a public permanence. If a devotion is established, it must have canonical approval by the church. Canonical means that it is approved according to canon law. Hence, it is authorized by the church. Exorcists tell us that the devil is greatly enraged and defeated by the authority of the church. Besides being canonically and liturgically authorized, the communal first Saturdays is visible, public, and permanent. Therefore, the communal first Saturdays establishes the first Saturdays in the world. This greatly helps, quote, establish devotion, end of quote, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, as our Lord, Lady told us God wants on both June 13th and July 13th, 1917. The following are many other reasons to start the communal first Saturdays. If the first Saturdays is merely practiced privately and not practiced pu publicly, there would be no way of knowing that the first Saturdays led to the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, as we've mentioned previously. The result would be that Our Lady could not be given credit for the period of peace. This would be an injustice to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and an injustice and, and an injustice would only be another obstacle to the period of peace. So again, we can't have injustices because especially against Our Lady because they would prevent the period of peace we're trying to help obtain. The communal first Saturdays is very visible. So even the use of its devotional book, the communal first Saturdays devotional, is something visible, which contributes to the visible witness of Our Lady's triumph. So people can see us participating in the communal first Saturdays, honoring our Lord and our Lady's request for practicing and spreading the first Saturdays. In fact, we've had people even come to know about the first Saturdays and the communal first Saturdays by seeing people participate. And um, these the books help you know show something is going on. And so that's very easy for people um, to pick up on and um, and then can even then start practicing the first Saturdays. The communal first Saturdays as public prayer can enable our prayer to have greater power and greater reparatory value. So I, I just want to emphasize that again, the communal first Saturdays as public prayer can enable our prayer to have greater power and greater reparatory value. So we can even make more reparation. We can, you know, our prayers will be more powerful. So pretty amazing. And as scripture says, quote, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them, end of quote. And that's from Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. The communal first Saturdays provides a public fulfillment of the first Saturdays, just as the Pope and bishops provided a public fulfillment of the consecration of Russia and the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in 1984. The communal first Saturdays helps to foster, quote, the great prayer, end of quote, throughout the world, called for by St. John Paul II in the Gospel of Life. The communal first Saturdays gives visible witness that devotions should be ordered to the liturgy, especially 
to the Holy Eucharist. The communal first Saturdays is the greatest way to promote the rosary. Most often we see that the rosary is recited in places other than in the parish. Saying the rosary in other places is good, but it seems to say that the rosary is only for a few. The scheduled communal first Saturdays in the parish gives a clear and public witness to the fact that the parish itself supports the recitation of the rosary. Support of the parish for the rosary tells all of the parishioners that it is important to say the rosary. There is another reason that the communal first Saturdays is the best way to promote the rosary. In Fatima, Our Lady gave us a rosary in a more powerful form. Our Lady did this by combining the power of the rosary and the Immaculate Heart devotion together. This double-powered rosary is an outstanding way to say the rosary and the communal first Saturdays has such a rosary. The communal first Saturday's very own signature rosary reflects devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Only the communal first Saturday's has this more powerful rosary. For all of the 14 reasons that the communal first Saturdays is the best way to promote the rosary, we encourage you to see our pamphlet called Promoting the Rosary through the communal first Saturdays. And that's available on our website as well. You can just um, click on the media tab and then click on the name of this pamphlet and download it. The communal first Saturdays provides the complete communal form of the first Saturdays. And this, this makes it easier for each person to fulfill the first Saturdays correctly and in a way approved by the church. All the people have to do is participate in the scheduled devotion. The communal first Saturdays also can enable one to practice the entire Fatima message. For example, we say all the prayers taught by the angel and Our Lady. By starting the communal first Saturdays, a person is able to multiply the amount of reparation that he or she can make to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. By being scheduled in the parish, all the parishioners can have an all the parishioners can have an increased awareness of the first Saturdays. This can lead to more people attending the communal first Saturdays. That's very important, especially when it's advertised in the parish. People just see that and um, know it's you know something they can go to, and that this um, really it really helps um, helps more and more people um, to be able to know about and attend the communal first Saturdays. The communal first Saturdays provides a monthly parish retreat by which one can be spiritually renewed. This is amazing. So once a month, the parish can provide a monthly spiritual retreat. And I mean, this the communal for Saturdays takes about one and a half to two hours plus confession. So uh, what, what a wonderful, wonderful retreat opportunity each month. And this retreat could actually be more powerful than a one or two retreat. And it could even be... Er- I'm sorry, it could be more powerful than even a one or two week retreat. And it could even be more powerful than a 30 day retreat, as you're going to see. And I'm so excited to be able to share with you over the next weeks um, how amazing the this communal first Saturdays is in in enabling us to be more disposed to the Eucharist and greatly please our Lord. It's just, it's amazing. So I'm looking forward to helping you understand that. And then you will really understand why, why it can be um, so, so powerful. Just this short time once a month can be so powerful and can be so, can, can be even more powerful than a 30 day retreat, as we mentioned. So I'm um, looking forward to sharing all of that with you. Uh, The communal first Saturdays helps the faithful to fulfill the obligation of your baptism and 
confirmation. Baptism removes the stain of original sin by communicating sanctifying grace to the soul. Each person is consecrated to God by a seal imprinted on the soul. By baptism, the faithful share in the three roles of Christ, king, prophet, and priest. By sharing in Christ's kingship, the faithful are responsible for their part in his kingdom by following him. By sharing in the prophetic role of Jesus, the faithful spread the faith by word and example. Spreading the first Saturdays is an excellent way to fulfill this obligation. Lastly, those baptized are called to share in the priesthood of Christ. The faithful do this by med mediating on behalf of others' independence on the priesthood of Christ. This mediation is carried out by the practice of prayer and sacrifice. Sacrifice is offered to God in reparation for sin and in supplication for sinners. The practice of the first Saturdays provides an outstanding way to fulfill this obligation of reparation. So I think this is really uh, important to know that we have this obligation of reparation, uh, whether we know it or not, just by being baptized. So um, the first Saturdays, uh, as we've mentioned, the purpose of, is to make reparation for the sins against the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which clear, help clear the path of grace from Jesus through Mary to us. So we need to remove those obstacles of sin so that more grace from Jesus can flow through Mary to us. And we, we need to make this reparation. And that any reparation we do um, for sins against the Mac Heart of Mary is part of a fuller reparation to the uh, Sacred Heart of Jesus. So we need to remember that. So um, it's um, not an option; it's an obligation. And um, most, probably most Catholics, do not realize that. So the first Saturdays really provide, a, just it really do provide an amazing opportunity for us to make this reparation and at the same time fulfill our obligation to do so. So. Um, that's important to let others know as well as we're trying to spread the first Saturdays. So it's um, it's, tr it's truly amazing. I mean, just what our la Lord and Our Lady ask for in the first Saturdays, not only does it bring us closer, of course, to our Lord in the Eucharist, but it's helping us do what we're supposed to do. I mean, it's helping us fulfill our obligations. And uh, by doing by fulfilling our obligations that helps dispose us even more to the graces of the Holy Eucharist. So this first Saturdays is just absolutely amazing. And, um, as we're going to see, as we, as we've mentioned, the communal first Saturdays, the way it arranges the practices, uh, even help dispose us more to the graces of the Holy Eucharist. So truly amazing. I uh, want to also mention that on Pentecost, the sacrament of confirmation was instituted by sending the Holy Spirit upon Mary and the apostles. The immediate effect was that the apostles went out and spread the faith. By being confirmed, we too are called to spread our Catholic faith in a more powerful way. Living and spreading the Catholic faith are the most important ways we can fulfill our obligation to live out our confirmation. In spreading the communal first Saturdays, the faithful are able to spread much of their Catholic faith, as for example, the Mass and, and the Gospel prayer, the Rosary. We're able to spread um, reading scripture in the form of Lexio Divinas, are going to mention um, later a very uh, recommended way of reading the, the scripture and meditating on the scripture. Um, we spread confession, repentance. Um, so we're really able to spread an amazing amount of faith um, by spreading the communal first. We're able to really 
spread an amazing amount of our Catholic faith by spreading the communal first Saturdays. Hence, Catholics are able to carry out the new evangelization in a way that is easy and far beyond any other way. And you're going to see this. And again, I'm just so excited to be able to share all of this with you. And I'm looking forward to um, our time together as we go through uh, the communal for Saturdays over the next several weeks and show um, show how this um, really, really helps Catholics uh, carry out the new evangelization um, in an amazing way. So, and we really want to, um, yeah, and we're going to, again, share more and more of that as time goes on. But I want to now highlight the Communal First Saturdays devotional book that we've been um, speaking about. And this is of key importance. It really is important. And it's the, per, we're, the, the Communal First Saturdays is inseparable. And it's, this devotional book is to be used by the faithful to follow along in a church approved way. And again, the very visibility of the book, people seeing this book in people's hands. So, and the very, so the very visibility of the book is a reminder that the devotion is approved by the church to use in association with the liturgy. And it's really important to note that the devotional is church um, is a church approved to be used exactly as it is. So nothing should be added or subtracted at all. And that's a very important point. People need to realize that. Um, otherwise, people would not be doing what the church approved. So in using the devotional, um, so in using the devotional, um, we can be ensured that all the practices requested by Our Lady are being fulfilled. So really important. Also, using this devotional also helps the faithful to pray in union with the whole church and in union with all of the communal first Saturdays being celebrated throughout the world. In this way, there is one great prayer is advocated by St. John Paul II in the Gospel of Life. And for more information about that great prayer that St. John Paul II called for, um, you can look at paragraph number 100 in the Gospel of Life. So let us now uh, just discuss how the communal for Saturdays is ordered. And it, it, the very devotional shows us how the communal for Saturdays is done and in what order. So the communal for Saturdays and its order um, helps correct all the failings that we've been able to identify in other forms of public first Saturdays devotions. For, um, for example, uh, many forms uh, do not include the four practices of the first Saturdays and do not mention or emphasize the fact that each needs to be done with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And our the communal first Saturdays um, does do all four practices with this very important intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Also, order is really important. Some may not realize this. Oh, well, we just do it this way and this way and this way, and then um, and then it's done. Or you know, and just in any other way, or maybe throughout the day, or, or so. Um, but order is very important to pay attention to. As Saint Teresa of Avila said, the first rule of heaven is order. The very the first rule of heaven is order. So we really want to make sure that we're doing things orderly, especially in our spiritual life. And so um, all the more in something that's done publicly, it needs to be have a, a correct order and in the best order possible. And the devotional definitely puts this truth into practice. God loves order. He loves order. Sin is disorder. So we certainly uh, want to stay away from disorder. We want to please God greatly. So we want to do things in the best order to please him. So again, the communal first Saturdays and its devotional includes all four practices and includes it and emphasizes, as you, you'll see, and we'll talk about more, it emphasizes the intention of each practice to make reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. To go on a trip and not know where one is going is not reasonable. Yet this is often what we find uh, in most versions of public first Saturdays. Reparation to the Macca Heart of Mary is where we are going, and yet this is often left out. And the communal first Saturdays corrects this problem. 
So as we come to the close of our program, I would like to let you know that we'll be discussing um, more about how we can answer Jesus's question to all of us. And um, the one that he asked to all of us in the person of Lucia about um, how we spread throughout the world the first Saturdays. So we're going to discuss more uh, and more of how we can answer that question um, with a resounding yes and in the best way possible. Um, our program airs every, fr airs every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. And so you will not want to miss this program. Just to let all of you know, there are study groups using the book called Fatima and the First Saturdays. Um, it's the same book, same name of this uh, radio program. People from different parts of the world connect online. So you're welcome and invited to register for our next groups that start in May. Um, they start the week of May 19th to the 24th, um, but registration ends May 5th. So you want to hurry and get your registration in. And you can go to www.communalfirstsaturdays.com dot org and um, click on the tab uh, on the top that says study groups. Uh, Spanish groups are also available. So please remember that Radio Maria is 100 percent listener supported. We depend on the generosity of our listeners. There are many ways you can help. You can make a donation on the phone at 1-888-408-0201. Again, that is 1-888-408-0201. You can also go to www.radiomaria.us and click on ways to donate up at the top. Again, that is radiomaria.us. Your donation will be a great gift. Remember, to fulfill the first Saturdays, there are four practices, each with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. These practices are one, confession, Two, receiving Holy Communion. Three, praying five decades of the Rosary. And four, the separate and additional 15-minute meditation on the mysteries of the Rosary while keeping Our Lady company. Each of these four practices need to be done with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. If you don't do one of the practices or don't do each practice in reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, you have not done the first Saturdays, and we don't want that to happen to you. So be sure to download the free brochure that gives you essential information about the first Saturdays. When you go to the website, click on the button that reads free brochure. Again, the website is www.communalfirstsaturdays.org. Remember. God wishes to establish devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in the world. To do this, Our Lady gave us two special requests. The first special request was for the collegial consecration by the Pope and the bishops. The second special request is for the first Saturdays. Of the two requests, the first Saturdays is what we are responsible for doing. So let us do our part. But if we wish to establish devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in the world, it's not enough for it to be done privately only. As Our Lady said, it must be established in the world. To establish something, it must be visible in public. The first Saturdays must be established in parishes, and not in any public form, but in a way that is approved by the church. Otherwise, if not public and communal, there's no way to know that the faithful are fulfilling the practices of Our Lady's request for world peace. Our Lady would not be given credit for the triumph. And this would be an injustice against her heart, an obstacle to the, the peace. What we call the communal first Saturdays is not only public, but approved by the church together with the use of the Communal First Saturday's devotional book. This book, of course, can be used in parishes. However, it can also help you if you need to do the First Saturdays privately. If, if you are fulfilling the First Saturdays privately, consider helping start the Communal First Saturdays in your parish. If you're interested, please contact us at info at communalfirstsaturdays.org. In the interim, please be sure to pray 
for more parishes to start the communal first Saturdays. Let us end with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O most holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I hope you have a very blessed week. This is Dr. Katrina Layden with Fatima in the first Saturdays. Until next week. Oh.